In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Are you ready to play Thinky Jump? Yes! Yes, yes, please! Are you ready to think and jump? I am! Are you watching this for? Yes, yes, I've got you on screen. Oh, yes! Right, different things will come up on the Thinky Jump machine. Lots of things! You've got to jump onto things that match what I say. OK. Car, cake, banana, chair. Jump on things you can eat. You can eat banana and cake. Yeah. Did you see it for? Yeah, I did. Very good. Can you play it back to us? Hang on. You can eat banana and cake. Great. That shows the things you can eat. Well done, three. Let's do some more thinky jump. Oh, shame. Come on, we've got to go. are going wrong. But not for long. You're right, they seem to be back to normal. Let's check. On the screen. Anyway, it's this girl. She's wrapping a dog as a birthday present. The dog wasn't working just now. It's working now, all right. Yeah, she can wrap it up now. That dog's funny. I'll play it again. What's happening now? Everything seems fine, Agent 17. Sorry if I wasted your time. It's never a waste of time calling the number, Jax. Thanks. That wasn't a very big problem. Well, if it was just a small problem, perhaps you should send out a small number, Jack. Like me! Well... OK. Yes! Me, me, me! Stand by for launching. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who do we choose? Who's going out there? Number three. <laughs> It's all Cliff launching. Just a fish in their bowl. They never remember anything. Looking for a three. We are needing a three. Needing a three. I got that three. Oh, yes! I have arrived. I'm off to the girl's house just to check. You video miss for later, for? Of course. And here we see brave little number Jack three out where it's mean and nasty. Things don't look very mean and nasty. Agent 54 here. Things are going wrong to a birthday party. I'm on my way. Looks like a good 
good party to me. But look what's gone wrong with the present. That's the girl we saw before. It's not working. It's just sitting there. Looks like more problems. Agent 60 here is the man at the cafe. On screen. dog and now the man. What's going on? Agent 106 here. The dog and the man are linked. The man is barking and jumping. <coughs> the dog is doing what the man was doing. Three. Yes. Can you see anything that might be making things go wrong? No, I can't. Three. Yes, I'm saying behind you. Putting the spooky spoon data on screen. Uh oh. One, two, three. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's got plastic when she turns, she's fantastic. But she thinks she is spooky spoon. I don't like you, spooky spoon. Oh, I don't like you either. <laughs> You're much too big. You've been mixing things up again. Might have been. And I might mix some more. <laughs> oh, no. Why is he starting to do that? I don't know. children were tearing the paper. So Spooky Spoons made the man tear paper. What else do children at the party do? <coughs> oh dear, I can guess what's going to happen. Man's gonna get into trouble. Have you seen the bin? She's even made the bin loud and lively like the party things. If Spooky Spoon keeps on making quiet things behave like party things, anything could happen. <laughs> Your pencils might start playing musical chairs. And when the music stops, they might get broken. Or your knife and fork might start playing past the parcel. Only they'd be playing past the bread. All the things in your bathroom might get into party mood. And what a mess they'd make! Someone's got to stop Spooky Spoon! The man's looking terrible. And the party's pretty bad too. What's happened to all the noise? That party's not exactly rocking. It's Spooky Spoon again. Now she's made things at the party, like the cafe. Quiet and not moving. Having fun. <laughs> I am. You've made everything at the party quiet and not moving. Maybe they were always like that. They weren't. Oh, but you can't prove it. <laughs> and if you ever did show me definitely what things were like before, oh, then I'll go away and leave you alone. All right. 
How can we prove what things were like before? Quick! Any ideas? Four, you've had it all on screen. So play it back to show what things are really like. Oh, yes! We'll send the pictures by Brain Game. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Okay, here's what the man was really like before Spooky Spoon messed him up. The man is quiet and not moving. What about the bin? We've got the evidence. Things that are quiet are not moving. Brain game building. Sending brain game now. Things that are quiet and not moving. And the man. Quiet and not moving. Now let's sort the party. Can do. Things that are noisy and lively. It's all on screen. Oh! Sending brain game. Oh, no! Oh, then I'll go away. Oh, then I'll go away. Oh, then I'll go away. Come back now, three. Here I come. All clear for landing. And we've got it all on screen now. The dog was quiet and not moving. And the man was noisy and lively. Spooky Spoon had changed what things were like. But we had it all on screen, what things should be like. The man and the bin were quiet and not moving. And the party things were noisy and lively. And we could show that Spooky Spoon had promised to go away. Back to normal. Having it all on screen was really useful for... Thanks. How about your screen? Could you draw a picture of things that are lively and noisy? Or a picture of things that are quiet and not moving? Make your pictures and call the number jacks. 